getting ready to go to Ohio. Just leaving. Uh, it's a balmy 10 degrees out. It's gonna be about a 10 hour ride there. 10 hour ride back. Uh, wish us luck. You guys are excited? This is gonna be great. Well, sound about as excited as you. <laughs> leaving Crawfordsville, Indiana. Um, we've got about two and a half hours left to go. I don't know how warm it is out, but it's not very warm at all. I forgot my jacket in the truck overnight. Um, I don't know about Owen, but the beds here was just like taking the valve covers off your race car and sleeping on the valve springs. Yeah, I, I was too tired to realize. I'm telling you right now, guys. It was I, pretty bad. I could have probably slept better on the floor. So, uh, I know I talked to Dad this morning, and he he slept better than we did. You want the front seat or the back? Doesn't matter. Either. All right, I'll sit in the front. Um, so, oops. So. Like I told everyone, we are just leaving Crawfordsville, Indiana. Uh, we got about two and, two and a half hours to go until we get to Cincinnati to pick our motor up. Um, and it's a 10 hour trek back home. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, I thought it'd be warmer here. I'm disappointed. You guys need a COVID test. It says call 513-972-462. So we just arrived here at uh, LaFerre's to pick up our 604 crate motor and look at what we found. What a beautiful car. Michael at Slicker Graphics um, got up here. Can't show you their secrets. top-notch the video does not do it justice
so this is Michael Lafers. Um, tell us, you know, basically why you guys have the colored scheme this way and uh, what the history behind the 90 is. Well, um, let's see, uh, the colors come from uh, 1975. My grandfather was driving for a gentleman named Jim Dietz. Uh, and he just got out of a ride and he worked for Jim and Jim's like, hey, let's, uh, uh, let's, let's get together, let's, let's put a team together, let's race. And they picked, I think, the green color because uh, the guy he drove for, for before, he didn't believe in green, I guess bad luck. And so they went ahead and they said, let's go green 13. I don't know where the yellow exactly came from, but they, that's the colors they had that year. And they went out and uh, had a pretty great season. I believe they won like 30... 30-something features that year between uh, Brown County Speedway, which they won the championship there and won all 18 races that season there. Uh, and they won some races at Eldora uh, and Northern Kentucky Speedway, which is Florence Speedway now. Um, so that's kind of where the colors came from. We ran it at the end of last year with the Green 13. Uh, and we like the colors so much because people can see it and everyone's like, wow, those colors look so good. So um, we wanted to run the colors again this year, but we wanted to bring back the 90. Uh, which is, uh, it's, it's a family number, which is Vern and his uh, brother Wills. They started in 1966 uh, with the number 90. So uh, we thought, why not bring it back? That's what we were running before we ran the 13, kind of just as a special. So uh, that's kind of where the colors came from, and that's where the 90's back to this year. So we're hoping that uh, it'll be a good year for us, and um, we're looking forward to it. So how much time do you have into this piece, and... and uh I guess if someone wanted their car to look like that, what would that cost them? I know everything's... Um... I mean, give or take, I was actually, I've had probably quite a few people ask that, and probably uh, uh, between probably 1500 and maybe 1800 bucks, maybe, give or take. It might be more, some, some time I'm not thinking about, but we've got a lot of hours in there. Um, like I was telling your dad earlier, we've got a memorial on the decking that is uh, individual ovals of just people that... Uh, passed away that just either raced with my grandpa over the years or they promoted tracks or they um, worked the tracks or they owned the tracks um, uh, fans drivers wives just anybody um, that was involved with racing over the last 40 years um, so that took a lot of time with getting the names and customizing each oval for like drivers we went ahead and tried to recreate all the numbers that tried to match what number they had style on their car back then so um, quite a bit of time into it, but um, as a lot of people would say, the time that we put into it um, and the cost is just priceless for uh, what we're doing. We, you know, we've got our family crewing on the car, uh, our drivers, family, so it's just a whole family deal, and it's pretty cool to be able to do it. And um, yeah, like I said, we're looking forward to another season being able to do it together. Well, that's good. So, tentatively, what are your guys' plans for this year and? Uh, how many career wins does your grandpa have? Uh, so he's got 659 feature wins, 20 track championships, and uh, I don't know, I guess the goal this year is uh, we're gonna go to Florence quite a bit anytime they have a race. Uh, Atomic Speedway, uh, Portsmouth, Eldora, and maybe hit some other places too outside of there. And you guys have a super, it's a steel block it's motor a, this year, right? Uh, it's a steel block Mullins. So basically a modified motor, and they've got so they do have they do have a series for it's called the Steel Block Late Model Series. Um, so we'll probably hit like um, I think there's like seven eight shows that we're gonna hit. They've got I think 25 shows, but there's just some tracks we don't have any interest in going to. But we're gonna hit all the ones that they have at Atomic, uh, and I believe also Portsmouth at the end of the year for the Dirt Track World Championship. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Hey, no problem. So here's the other thing we found when we went and got that crate motor down in Ohio is uh, at the shop uh, at JT Lefevers has a uh, little thing, a couple things here some people might be interested in. How you doing? So uh, these cars belong to em the late Emery Nichols, uh, who's a legend in this area. He actually raced this one on the top. It's a 65 Shelby Cobra 289. Um, he drag raced it one actually, uh, I think a, some kind of nationals race at Indianapolis, whatever class he was in. Um, but a lot of people come in here looking for this car and they're like, we hear you got a Cobra here and they'll come in and the, we got three of them here and they're amazed. They're like, you never see one hardly in your life and here's three of them right here. But uh, this bottom one is a, um, a frame and body 
uh, from Shelby USA and they've got another one that they bought years ago that was crashed had 45 miles on it uh, it was being test driven actually killed the salesman and the driver um, but it's mangled up in another building here but if you have a CSX number they'll make you another frame and body course you got to pay for it but um, so that's this one when it came if you look at this it's nice and smooth. When it came, you couldn't rub your hand on it. It would it would cut you. It was all body filed when it came, so it, we had to finish it this way. And then this one over here, is a '65 Dragon Snake, uh, which there were only six or seven made. I think it was seven. Uh, this car here was traded into an exotic. Um, car store that was owned by and I can't remember his first name his last name was Walter he owned Dayton Walter up in Dayton uh, very wealthy but his son Salt Walter who was an IndyCar driver and his brother which I can never remember his name but he ran like hydroplane boats speed boats and they got this in on trade and they took it out right away for a test drive and come up front here they crashed it and uh, Emory bought it through the insurance company and it's set on this rack for probably 40 years uh, I've seen people come in here and offer two million dollars for it uh, Ford offered him a bunch of money for it two million dollars for that car for this car and uh, it's got 289 uh, eight one barrel injectors um, like I said there's only like seven of them ever made I think the last one that sold was like four million dollars uh, yeah, two pieces. Mm, that is interesting. What what are these two things worth? What are these Cobras worth? Uh, this one on top, the last one I think seen sold was like a million four, and um, the bottom one would probably be about the same as that when it's done. Other than it's going to have everything off that other car. It's basically forty five miles. It's probably the lowest mile Cobra in the country or world. Well, I, I think we have a little bit of room in the back of the pickup. We can probably <laughs> yeah. throw that well, one of them in there. So we just left Lafleur's, picked up the 604 crate. Um, I think I can say that we, we never expected to see what we saw today. Um, what'd you guys all learn? I mean, there was oh, yeah, an awful pretty race car. That was well, that was one thing. But when we, <laughs> um, the grandpa who races that car is 80 some years old. Yeah. And he's got over. I didn't. Over 600 feature wins, 659. Yeah, he's in the dirt track hall of fame, and he's still competitive. Um, so, the other cool thing was never expect to see a, a Cobra, let alone two of them or whatever that other thing was there. Um, you know, and listen to the stories on that. It's uh, it was an educational day. It wasn't just a good day to get a 604 crate uh, motor. No, oh, and, and and they're very, very nice people. Like, very nice people. Uh, opening arms and, and all, so um, it was nice to chat with them. It's unfortunate that we have a 10 hour ride back home, otherwise we could have been there a lot longer, but... Uh, well, sorry, you didn't see everything I thought I was taping. Forgot to push the button. <laughs> But anyways, we're going over this bridge, and that's Lake Michigan for anybody that hasn't been to Chicago. Um, if you haven't, uh, you haven't missed much. You know, we might use some of the content, so shut up. Oh. It is kind of cool as an old, I mean, big Chicago, you know, it's a big old city. Old, man, there's a lot of old stuff here. That's the city skyline, if you can see up there. Oh, my. There you go, Tim. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> we've added to our adventure. <laughs> we think we might have took the wrong turn in you Chicago. <laughs> Dad's phone is from, like, 1982, and 
doesn't like to, the toll roads. <laughs> it said uh, save a few yeah, miles. Yeah, Dad had <laughs> save a, seven extra minutes, no tolls. No guess tolls, what? and guess what it did? We're in this <laughs> part of town where we know we're in bad shape because this is a ex-police car and they stole it. They took the license plates <laughs> off of it. Just to show you how much time we saved, when we took off this morning, getting that motor, it said that we were gonna be home at 8.35. Check that out. <laughs> 9.55. Huh. Good job, Junior. That's not my fault, that's your fault. Oh, and it gets better. Look at the traffic jam. Oh. Both ways, look at down there. <laughs> it's not even quality time with Cody anymore. It's quality time because of Cody. <laughs> And that, folks, right there is the reason why we drove to Cincinnati, Ohio this weekend. We left Friday night, made it till about midnight to Crawfordsville, Indiana. Then we made the short two, two and a half hour trek to Cincinnati. We met the LaFers family. What a great family. Um, learned about their history. It was just a all around great experience. If you ever get the chance to meet Vern, JT, and Michael, um, stop by, say hi, they're great people. I wanna say special thanks to all our great sponsors. Um, without you, this wouldn't be possible, but we are looking to add great marketing partners. So if you are interested in sponsoring us for the 2022 season and beyond, please get a hold of me, Cody Borgeson, on Facebook or send me a message and uh, we'll be able to get in touch and uh, we'll talk about the opportunities that we have for the 2022 season. Obviously, we got two cars, we got the Crate Late Mile here, running USRA with it, maybe a couple of Soto shows, and then we also have our SSR right here. It's a Midwest Modified. Plan to do a lot of traveling this year with those um, two cars as well. So we'll um, go from there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please share this with your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take care.